Hi there. My name is Kelly Parks and I am a certified professional bookkeeper with Comwaters Cloud Accounting. I have been using a cloud accounting platform since 2012. I'm a certified professional bookkeeper here in Canada. As well, I am partnered or certified in over a dozen cloud applications, most of which relate to our accounting world. I use Receipt Bank for my clients for source document sharing and filing. I use QuickBooks Online for my clients. I am a QuickBooks Online advanced pro, pro advisor. That's a tough one to say. I use Pluto for payment processing, both AR and AP for my clients and myself. And I have Rewind attached to all of my client files. That is my peace of mind application. Today, I wanna to talk to you about uh, managing your client's wholesale billing under your QBOA account. The easy one that we're going to start with is adding a new client to your QBOA. So this is going to be a fresh file. You're going to add in their business name and what other information they need. Then you can add in more information as you go if you want to. Pick the access that you're going to need and then add whatever team members you're going to have. The client is going to receive an invitation and they have to fill out the backside of that and then they will start to show up in your client file list. The next thing you want to do is add an existing client to your file. So to do that, you go to um, your gear icon, subscriptions and billing add existing clients. So this is a client that you're already working with, but now you're moving them to your wholesale billing account. Search for the clients that you want to add to it. All of my clients are already added. So that's why everything is grayed out. And it's as simple as finding the client and then hitting the add client button and you're all set to go. Let's say you have a shiny new client though. So we're just going to pause the recording for a second and I'm going to move in. So here we are. What you need to do, we're going to look at it from the side of your client because they are the ones that are going to have to add you as an accountant. So this is the process you would use to walk them through it. We're in the client file and then the client needs to go to the gear icon. They need to manage users. Then they head on over here to accounting firms. They can only have two accounting firms. So mention to them that they are going to have to get rid of their old accounting firm first before they can add you if there isn't room for you. They hit the invite button, they put in your information, and it's very, very, very important that they use the email address that you log into your QBOA account with. So make sure you're very clear with them what email address to use. So let's just add me. Parks. And we're going to add in the email address. Cool. We're done. We're going to save it. And I will have received an email giving me the next steps. So let's just pause for a second while I wait for that email to come in. And I am going to. Okay. Here we are. Here's the copy of the email that came in to me. And so I would choose to use this Intuit ID, the one that's correct, whatever wholesale billing account I want to add or whatever account I want to add this to. And so that's doing some magic over there. And we're going to take a second while I go ahead and add that client into my wholesale billing. Okay, here we are. I've clicked on the link from that email and I'm all ready to accept the invitation. I accept the invitation. And of course I have two factor verification on my QuickBooks online account. So here we are adding in the verification code from my app. I use the uh, Microsoft, no I don't, I use the Google Authenticator. And here we go. We are going to continue on into this file And now here we have it. My demo file has shown up. You can't see it because uh, I've grayed out my client file, but take my word on it. We have added that file to my thing. 
So then if I wanted now to add them to my wholesale billing, I would go back up to the gear icon. I would go to subscriptions and billing. And then I would go ahead and filter them to add them to my wholesale billing. And uh, add existing clients. And this would be the account that I would be adding. And the reason sometimes you're going to get when you go to add existing clients to your subscriptions, you may get a notice like this. No, we're currently, they've got a problem with that client. You can't add them. And the, there's, there's a number of reasons that that may happen. But the main reason is probably that they're already on wholesale billing somewhere else. That's the case with my demo account. I have another uh, that's being hosted with uh, wholesale billing under another uh, QBOA account that I have. So you will get a notice if you um, can't add that client. The rest of these clients, either you need permission from the client, so maybe you don't have high enough level, maybe you're not master admin. Um, in this case, no permission, no, per, no and then permission needed. Some of these clients are already on my wholesale billing. So there's all kinds of different reasons. If you can add them though, right here, you just click on the link and you'll be able to add them to your wholesale billing. It's a simple one click to add them and away you go. Now though, you want to upgrade some of your clients to a different QBOA. You select the down arrow and in the case of this company, they are already at the highest level. So there's nothing else that we can do for them. So what you want to do is, oh, all of these clients, this client is probably on a simple one. So any of the actions that you can take are going to be right here. And then that leads us to the next thing. What if you want to transfer the billing to the client? It's as simple as this. You would, you would click on the uh, transfer billing to the client. You would remove them. That will take them right out of your wholesale billing and that will send the client an email telling them that they've been removed from your wholesale billing and giving them the option to pay for their own account from now on or to close the account down entirely. Okay, so if you're going to transfer billing to your client, I highly recommend that you run a final series of reports and do a final um, push to rewind for a backup of the file. That way you have a point in time when you ended the work for the client. This is in the case of when you're leaving entirely. And we're going to stop that share for a second just so that we can talk. And so um, make sure that when you are, are transferring billing to an end user, that you run the GL, the trial balance, AR and AP, so that you also have a moment in time as reports, do that final backup to rewind so that you have a final copy of the file that if you need to restore it for an audit, you've got it for an audit purpose. And we're gonna talk about restoring a file for an audit purpose in another video. At any rate, that's how you manage clients uh, for their wholesale billing, transferring clients, and adding clients. Thanks for your time today. Bye.